Uh, I'm Fred Pierce. Um, I'm a freelance writer. I write books. I write work on uh, magazine articles and for newspapers. So on any given day, I might be writing a blog for lunchtime, working on a news story for the end of the week, or indeed working on a book project that could take me, uh, take me a year. I've always wanted to be a journalist. I studied geography at university, but to be honest, I spend more time working on student journalism than I did on my, on my geography course. So I was always clear that I wanted to be a journalist. I started in specialist journalism, in local government journalism and consumer journalism, and then moved into environmental issues. I found that I was writing for a magazine called Municipal Engineering, so I was writing about toxic waste and the water industry and planning. And from there I started writing freelance for New Scientist magazine on toxic waste issues and pollution issues. Um, and that finally became my area of expertise, if you like. I went and worked for New Scientist as a news editor for a number of years back in the 1980s. Um, and ever since then I've been freelance, uh, combining the journalism with books. It's very difficult to give advice to how people should start out. For me, it's been very personal because I've tried to uh, find the niches that, that suit me personally. But I guess that's a piece of general advice, if you can, is look for the jobs that really do interest you, the things that are really going to enthuse you down the line. As a writer, I now think about, I'm now thinking about book projects. So I'm thinking about, if I'm thinking about what to write next, I'm thinking, yes, of course, what, what publisher might want to buy, but also I'm thinking what will interest me over a year. I don't want to get bored halfway through writing a book. Now I, I know that's a luxury that people starting out on a career don't have, but I think it's worth looking from early on, exploring what you think might be the areas that you'd like to get into maybe in 10 or 20 years that would really keep you enthusiastic. There's nothing worse than getting into your 40s or 50s and just being bored silly with your job. So have a sense of where you want to end up and the route that you might take to get there. I think one attribute that you need is a desire to travel. Uh, you need to be persistent. You need to want to go around the world to find out things. I'm a rather old fashioned journalist, perhaps. I believe you have to go to places and ask questions of real people. You can't sit at home and, and Google everything. Um, and I think that's right. I mean, I think if you, if, you, if you go to places, you discover things you didn't expect. You discover the story that you didn't expect. And often those are the most interesting things. So a persistence and an openness to new ideas, to new thoughts, uh, and to discover the unexpected. And as I say, the, you have to travel to do that.